This is an FV432. Now we bought it a couple of months ago and when we bought it, there was a big issue with it. Even though we bought it as a runner, there was an issue with the FIP, meaning the vehicle couldn't stop. However, once we then got it back here, there was another issue which Nitro is going to explain. What I have done is managed to find out roughly where the problem is. It lies in a blockage from the fuel pump here to the front of the vehicle where it plugs into the engine. So my plan is at the minute, but we'll uh, tow it down to the yard, disconnect the fuel feed here and blow air through it and see what comes out the other end. And voila! First of all, empty everything out of it, uh, assess what uh, equipment we've got, store it all the way as needed, and then I've got to work right through the electrical systems. Uh, this version's got the heater in it, uh, which is quite nice. So if we can get that working, that'd be fantastic. Along with the filtration system, the big fan up there, we'll get all that working. And then of course, all your gauges, dials, exterior, interior lights, right down to the rear collector tank, that'll be fully overhauled. Uh, all the impellers changed and everything on that. The engine will come out, they'll have all its oils changed. We'll run it up outside the vehicle, make sure there's no oil leaks and everything. Steam clean the engine bay, exterior, interior, and then um, get it into the workshop and give it a full strip down check over. Okay, so I'm just whipping off the fuel feed from the fuel pump that runs to the engine. We're gonna blow some air down it see if we can dislodge whatever it is blocking that fuel line. Elliot, I'm going to borrow you. Blow down that. Right. Um, don't give it full bore straight away. Right. Otherwise it might shoot me. Right, okay. <laughs> so just give it a bit and I'll shout to you from the other end. Yeah. Okay, Elliot, give it a bit of air. Let's see what comes out. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, give it more. Okay, hold it there. Right. That is definitely unblock that. As my hands give evidence to. What we'll do now, we'll fire up the fuel pump and see if we get any uh, diesel coming out of the fuel feed here now. Fingers crossed. So you're not going to actually start, you're just going to uh, turn on the fuel pump. Probably should stand there. Okay, so power on. I'm just going to put the fuel pump on, see if we get any diesel coming out of there. There is a bit, eventually. <laughs> not as much as I was hoping. All right, we'll turn that off and I think we'll get the fuel pump out and check it over. All right, what are we doing today? Emptying all this to start with, get everything uh, neatly stacked away. Got the data plate, can't lose that. <laughs> Most important thing that is. Ah. Air filters, That's harness. It's got a lot of little goodies in here. Oh, nice new track over there. Okay, so just reconnecting the uh, fuel pump. Basically, I stripped all this apart and the filter inside was absolutely solid. You couldn't get air through it or anything. So fingers crossed, that's our issue. Uh, so anyway, I put a brand new filter in. I'm just re-plumbing it up now. We'll bleed her up, fire it up, and uh, see what we get out the front. Yeah. We've definitely got the biggest, <laughs> biggest adjustable you could find. Yeah. So we're going to start up now, and hopefully, there's going to be a good amount of pressure coming out of the, uh, well, from the fuel pump. Not very much. So, keep the air out of it. Great news. <laughs> so it's just going to connect it up now and then hopefully we'll start it up and she should absolutely be fine. Fingers crossed. And the batteries are flat. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. And of course, they're really awkward to get out. They are. Let's we try a jump pack. Yeah, I'll grab one. 87%. Right, oh, no. 
hopefully this works and if it does we are still going to replace the batteries just uh just want to actually make sure the fuel pump's working and everything see what it does okay so we're going to uh, put brand new batteries on it uh make life easy for us and then try again there we go you can see swapped over the batteries and now fingers crossed she'll start hopefully do we dare <laughs> hopefully. right let's go get that fuel pump a couple of seconds just build a bit more pressure up Thankfully, since that's all done and it was only the uh, the filter in the fuel pump, what we're going to do now is take it back up to the uh, top of the yard and we're going to do, be doing a pack lift on it. So everything in here, we're going to disconnect all just so we can take the engine out, give it a quick service, make sure we're happy with it. Because as I say, we've never actually had this engine out because we've only had the vehicle a few, well, about two months or so. And we've noticed there seems to be a bit of a bird's nest. A little nest up there. Yeah, so I think we definitely need to get that out. <laughs> now to take the uh, pack out, luckily we've already taken these uh, decks off here. We've got to take this deck off, the uh, engine oil, the gear selector, obviously disconnect it all, and then also all those pipes at the front. And hopefully it will come out nice and easy, but you can see, I think it's got what, about 500 hours on the clock? You know what, it's 513, so it should be all right, but it's always better to, well, check really, I guess. You can see at the front here, Obviously got your uh, the fuel pipes just here, all the electricals, the AC and DC alternators, they're going to need taken off. And right back there, if you can just about see that, that is the exhaust box, well not the exhaust box, the exhaust pipe. And I tell you, it is an absolute pain to get out, mainly because you have to sort of crawl into it to get into it and it's, uh, yeah, not the most fun. Thankfully on the later models, the Mark III, the Bulldog, they actually put a little door in here just to make it easier to get into there. But of course, this isn't a bulldog. So we're gonna reverse it up now, so we can, uh, yeah, get the pack out. Right, so we're just uh, prepping for the pack lift now. I've already taken out this whole area. This rail has to come out to allow the engine to pass by it. Uh, then it's engine bolts that are located down and around here. Under the old prop shaft there. Then once, uh, once they're finished on the front, deck's off, lift it out. Just like that. And while they're getting the pack ready, we've got Mickey who's taken out these back benches, the passenger seats, because you can see they're not, uh, well, they're quite grotty. So there's six in total and as you can see they are quite grotty so we're just going to take them out, sand them down, maybe bend them back into place where they were a little bit bent, give them a paint and then put them back in once the uh, inside's been painted again. There we go, as you can see all the uh, bits and bobs at the front have now been taken off. So now it's time to actually get the engine and just take it out straight through the top. So we finally got it out and you can see Elliot's currently connecting it up at the front so we can run it. However, we think there's a bit of an issue, isn't there, Nitro? Well, there might be. It might be nothing, but there is a bit of oil coming out the exhaust. Um, so we're going to run it up and just see what the what it's like. We can get a bit in and we've been sat for ages like this, but we need to be sure. So we'll have a, a run up and check. We're going to connect everything except for the uh, two alternators just there, because we do know it already charges, so we don't need to check that. While Elliot's connected at the front, we'll... Uh, open these up these are the air filters oh the bloody stick 
don't think they've been opened in probably about God knows how many years. Fourth the fifth, two thousand and six. This one was fifty then. How many years is that? Eighteen years. Eighteen years that, since yeah. it was last changed. Brand new. It's actually, yeah. Brand, it's new. brand new. Brand new, there you go. To be fair, I don't think the guy who used to own it did any miles on this. I think he You're took it out about, it I think he said about four or five times. Looking inside of the engine bay, it is, it's not actually too bad. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's got a load of gunk. It's got a lot of ice because I think it's like minus two today. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're definitely going to have to give it a bit of a steam clean out. Definitely, especially down there. I mean, bloody hell. I think there's definitely been an oil leak <laughs> once before. What's happened? Won't turn over. Try again. Try again. Go on. Right. What are we doing wrong? Do you think there might be an issue with the starter rotor? Right? Well, it could well be. I mean, I bet when they tried to start it when they ran out of fuel, I bet they turned it over and turned it over and turned it over until it Probably, yeah. died. Batteries are on probably, aren't they? Yeah, batteries. The are batteries on. are good. Yeah. Try starter again. Okay, power off it now. Let's uh, swap this data over. Okay, so we've just uh, swapped the extremely heavy starter motor, and we're going to give it another try now, and hopefully, she'll go. So, Elliot, do you want to give it some beans? Okay. <laughs> So thankfully now that's all sorted, we're going to be taking the engine down, give that a steam clean, make sure it's looking nice, and then take the uh, the actual vehicle down as well, give that a wash, and hopefully, once we get all that done, we'll be able to put the engine back on in, and it should all work again. So there we go, we've now pushed her down the yard, and now it's time to give her a good wash, which will be great fun since it's minus two. I'm sure Elliot won't mind. <laughs> just before he washes, I'm just going to take this box off because we don't want it on. Obviously, just so we can wash down the side of it. So now that's all done, it looks a lot better, so now it's time to actually go put it back inside the vehicle. Elliot's in there, he's going to do a bit of steering, I'm going to push it up there, drop the engine in, by the end of the day, have it in the workshop. Okay Elliot, ready? As you can see, we haven't actually washed the outside yet, just because uh, well, when we came to do it this morning, it was minus five degrees, so everything was well, completely frozen. So once we get the engine in and the, uh, the vehicle's all running, that's when we'll uh, probably wash it tomorrow, once it's hopefully a bit warmer. All right, handbrakes are on, and then Elliot, can just take that off, please, mate. Yeah. Perfect, and then we'll get the engine in. Now the hard bit actually getting lined up with the vehicle. Thank you. 
Nitro, I know you're struggling inside the engine bay, but what are you doing? Having a nap! <laughs> no, what he's actually doing is... Putting the pack bolts in. Yes, do that before we take the frame off, just because if it hasn't lined up, it means we don't have to put that back on it. Cheese in fine. Good. Good. Mick's trying to get the uh, periscopes out. I imagine they're rock solid in there. I don't think they've ever been taken out. Yeah, this is why you should always take your scopes out during the winter. Don't leave them in because they will just rot. So I think this one's uh, definitely seen better days, to be fair.